Greetings, citizens of Earth. We are Russ Sound, and we've come from the distant future to show you what's new in amplifier technology. This is our brand new D-Series amplifiers. This is the first of the lot. It's the D1290. So we wanted to give you a quick look at the features and functions of this pretty cool new amplifier. So Joe, let's talk about the D1290. All right, this is a great amplifier, and I was really excited to to check this out. We had some features on this amplifier we hadn't had before, yeah. which is the high pass, low pass filter. So now you can take a zone and dedicate it to a set of satellite speakers and another zone and dedicate it to a set of um, passive subwoofers or a single passive subwoofer um, if you wanna bridge that zone. So yeah, it's really, really cool feature that we've, we've added. Yeah, let's take a look at yeah. the back panel here and see some of those, uh, how you would set some of these features. Right. I mean, and right out of the gate, it's 90 watts per channel out of a single zone at 4 ohms and 45 watts per channel out of a single zone at 8 ohms. So, mm -hmm. and then you've got 6 zones, 12 channels. So, you can drive a lot of speakers with this. Mm -hmm. So, you've got switches on the back for your high pass and low pass setting if that's something you want to use or just use that full range. Um, like I think most people would, but if you want that high pass, low pass feature, it's built in there. Which is very cool. Like you said, it's something we've never offered before. People right. have asked us if we made a subwoofer amp, and essentially now we do. We make something even better because right. this is kind of like an all-purpose Swiss Army knife where you can have multiple applications right. depending on how you set exactly. that crossover. Exactly. And some of the features that people are going to be a little bit more familiar with with our this amplifier and our other amplifiers, it does have a bus input. So let's say I want to take zones four, five, and six and just use those for a single outdoor zone. I could just run the output from something like an MC88, mm -hmm. run that into the bus input. Let's say this is bus A and there's a switch to set that on bus A over here. Mm -hmm. And that just combines that. So you have a bus A and a bus B. So you can do two, you can turn this into two really big zone amplifiers, right. essentially. And if you need to, you can bridge zones to Yep. Even higher wattage. Exactly. So if I, let's say I want to have um, two, let's say I have two speakers and I want to send a lot of power to just two speakers, mm -hmm. I could bridge this zone and make it a single zone, a much more powerful single zone mm -hmm. amplifier, and then the same thing with another one, and then make that a more powerful single zone for that other speaker. And if I want to combine those again, I could say like, hey, I want this to be one combined zone. You say, well, I'll make this bus A. And I'll put this switch on A and this switch on A, and then these will work together as if they're right. one zone. And then last but not least, you have your power on options, which is 12 volt trigger, signal sensing, or if you just need to leave the amp on 24 seven, you can certainly do that. It's got a built-in fan to keep it cool. And that's a quick look at all the features that are packed into the new D-Series amplifiers. Again, the 1290 is the first one to hit the streets. There'll be a bigger and a smaller model coming soon, so stay tuned for those. And as always, we thank you for watching.